Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. This is Aman here and I am a data scientist. In this particular video, I am going to cover few important pointers from model deployment point of view. I am going to tell you why you should be aware about these three pointers and how it is going to help you. Okay. So you will be seeing many videos on deployment guys. Some people are showing Heroku deployment, Flask deployment. I have also created videos on Flask deployment how to deploy model on cloud, how to deploy model on Unix box, all these things you might have seen, but some of the high level pointers you must be aware of. That is what we are going to cover. First of all, what is model deployment guys? Model deployment is nothing but you built a machine learning or deep learning model and then you want to use it. Okay. So the difference is very, very important to understand. You build a model that is development and then you want to use a model for this using purpose you deploy it somewhere the meaning of deployment is model is placed somewhere somebody will come and they can use that model in many different ways which we will cover in this point but first thing we need to understand is there is a difference between the way you develop a code and the way you deploy a code let me take a simple example when you develop a code guys, what you write to import data, either you say pd dot read underscore csv or read underscore excel and give path to your csv or excel file, right? Or you might be connecting through some connected to the database and fetching the data. For example, you are connecting to PySpark or Oracle server, fetching the data through the connector, okay? But here, when you deploy the model, right, what might happen is the record on which prediction has to happen or the record on which I want to use that model that might come from a third party server that might come come as an argument to your script. Okay. So what can happen here is this pd.read csv will not take a file path or will not take a .csv as an input. Similarly, when you connect to the database, that connection query will change. For example, here, if I am deploying a model in Unix platform, right? And then my prediction script is called pred.py, for example, pred.py. This pred.py will take as input the new data on which my model is going to be used. So the new data will be here one argument so pred.py my first argument this first argument goes as the input to pd.read underscore csv while reading the data that is one difference or one high level thing i'm just giving you an example second thing is while developing the model right you might be this is an example of data read after that what you do you do data cleaning, missing value imputation, outlier treatment, all those data cleaning stuff, right? So let us say you write some, some lines of code here, okay? Now, same lines of code or same code or same logic you want to use for your prediction script also. What you did for your training script, the way you cleaned your training data, the way you did missing value imputation, the way you created dummy variables, the way you encoded the categorical variables, same way you have to encode, you have to clean the data in prediction also. And for that reason, what you will do is all this prediction code or all this cleaning code or all this uh, whatever pre-processing code, you will put in a separate function and you will call that function in Python as data pre-process function. Okay? And this function you will use in your prediction script as well as your development script. This is pred.py, there will be a train.py also. Train.py. So train.py will also use the same preprocessing function. Pred.py will also use the same pred. Dot, but these will be two different files. Even these function will go into a new file. What is the reason I am telling you all these guys? Because many of you are learning data science. What you are seeing when you are learning data science? Break the data in test and train, predict on test, show the accuracy, show the confusion matrix done. That is not the way it works in production, guys. 
separate files for model training, separate file for prediction, separate for pre-processing, separate for function, separate for other pipeline, separate for deployment and on top of all these, I am talking from raw format, I am not talking about cloud deployment, I am not talking about Flask web app, I am talking about basic raw raw thing, right? On top of all this, you might be needing a needing a wrapper script or you might be needing another unique script that calls all these scripts with the needed arguments. I am just trying to give you a bigger picture of how the deployment is different than what you are learning in uh, you know data science learning programs, right? So that is how and I am going to show you all these things by doing practicals also. So don't bother about that. What I explained just now here is a plain vanilla deployment. Suppose there is a Unix box, there is a big data Harop system where data is lying. You go and you create your training, you go and you create your prediction, you create your different file structures and then you deploy your model. You place the model at some location. You call that model with the new argument with a scheduler. What is a scheduler? A scheduler will pick this prediction.py every one hour or every two hours or weekly once whatever schedule you fix and run with the new data okay that is at high level raw vanilla flavor of how you have to deploy model in a big data system unix box now there are other ways to deploy a model guys okay you must be aware of heroku platform flask django so what happens in these platforms you give a ui kind of thing to the user and you say hey you know what my model is placed, you go and enter your values on which we have to predict and your values will be predicted. Second way, you give a upload button, they will upload the excel files, csv files on which they have to do the prediction and your model will be called through REST API whatever and then you will display the result. That is another way. The third way and very popular nowadays is nothing but cloud way. Okay, So everybody knows cloud, cloud is getting popular. Uh, you know xyz petabytes of data is moving to cloud by 2021 all these stories are there um, you know cloud adoption is increasing all these things are there so what are the three four different ways we have spoken about till now about model deployment plain vanilla version you have a big data environment unix box you deploy the model by creating your own folder structure if you want to go with python ui kind of endpoint you you can go for flask django all those api kind of stuff where there is a predefined format that you have to use and you have to you know customize that third way cloud so in cloud there are microsoft cloud amazon cloud google cloud they offer different different varieties of ways in which you can deploy your model using docker without docker you can bring your own you know pickle file you can bring your own entire notebook you can use their notebook and tweak their notebook and make your own in Amazon SageMaker. All these are different, different ways. But one important thing I want you to understand here is cloud adoption is not that easy also. Okay. Now, there are few organizations which are very, very sensitive about their data guys. Till you are working in retail, okay, retail or FMCG, if you are working in telco projects or telecom projects, if you are working in energy or oil and gas, that area, if you are working in some kind of uh, what to say, tourism industry, okay, all these industries are not very particular about their sensitivity of data, okay. But at the moment you come to finance and at the moment you come to drug manufacturers or pharma data, right? especially finance guys they are very very particular about uploading their data to somewhere else what is the meaning of somewhere else cloud adoption is what i am talking about okay so in my experience i am seeing there is still that boundary where finance guys all the banks all the uh, investment banks all the big financial institutions they are so particular about having their own platform, having their own server, having their own infrastructure that they are still not very open for this. Okay. And in that case, it becomes really important for you to understand the raw vanilla flavor that I explained here, how things work here. Of course, cloud is very, very important. 
if you go to any of these industry even in finance people are adopting now you should know how things work there so all three areas or all three four areas that we are discussing are good to know you know it is always helpful if you know more but i'm just giving you a gist of what all things can happen right so it's not that uh, you know cloud adoption or you know amazon sage maker how things work in sage maker then uh, it's a cake work for you always if you go to a finance institution they might not be happy pushing their data to cloud they might not be happy doing anything on public or private cloud or anywhere else apart from their own infra their own server and when i say their own server mostly it will be a unix box okay so the idea here was guys to give you a little wider perspective of you know important things in model deployment and what i'm going to do next i'm going to show you this way i have already showed you some ways in flask django these things and i'm i'll try to show you the cloud way also of model deployment because all these things are equally important guys nothing is less important okay and in some way these are related also you will know when you when you do various things right you will know that all these are interlinked okay for example if you take something to cloud and then amazon says make an instance you can open through a unix terminal many things are you know if you if you know one thing it will be helping in other things okay so that is the idea let me know what doubts what questions you have guys and i will definitely answer you i'll see you all in the next video guys till then wherever you are stay safe and take care